Being able to travel the world without worrying about time, money, and work is a luxury that very few people will ever experience. For billionaires though, this is a very different story. They are able to experience the most grandeur comforts and amenities on this planet, and it's incredible to see where they choose to go. Here is where billionaires go for vacations. When the richest people in the world are choosing a destination for their vacation, some of the non-negotiable factors for them are great views, great beaches, the luxurious things the place has to offer, and the overall grandeur of the city. So where do these billionaires take vacations to? First on our list is none other than Monaco. The principality is virtually a billionaire's clubhouse because of the posh, glitz, glamour, and laid-back lifestyle of this small country. One thing billionaires like to do is shop, and Monaco has some of the most exquisite boutiques in the world, with designer brands such as Hermes, Christian Dior, and Gucci competing for shop space in the small streets of the famous Avenue de Monte Carlo. Amazing architecture lines the streets, fully influenced by the European countries around it with a touch of Mediterranean influence. Annual events such as the Monaco Yacht Show are further reasons why billionaires visit Monaco, perhaps because they're looking at what yacht to buy next. If, of course, they aren't putting their already owned yacht on display. And who can forget the famous Monte Carlo Casino, where the most wealthy people do the most lucrative gambling? A billionaire would be in perfect company here, don't you think? In fact, billionaires like Jay-Z and Beyonce, Bill Gates, and Elon Musk have all visited Monaco to vacation for these exact reasons, while center billionaire Bernard Arnault keeps his $150 million yacht there. From the southeast coast of France, we move to southeastern Europe with Mykonos Island in Greece being the next destination. Mykonos has made Greece one of the most visited countries in Europe as over 20 million people visit this island annually. One of the reasons why Mykonos is very popular with billionaires is that the island allows all types of pleasure and lifestyle. This is why many refer to Mykonos as the party island because everything goes. In Mykonos, the houses are whitewashed due to the heat radiation from the sun which provides it with its picturesque environment. Other reasons why Mykonos is one of the most popular destinations for billionaires is because of its attractive beaches with crystal clear waters and golden sands, its luxury accommodation facilities, and its delicious cuisine to suit every palate. Next is Saint-Tropez, France, and it's the second destination on this list from the French Riviera. Initially, Saint-Tropez was just a simple fishing village, but in the last 20 years, it has become a world-renowned seaside port for the wealthy and famous. One of the reasons why Saint-Tropez has become a popular destination is because of the history that the town holds. The Citadel has kept guard over the town since the 17th century and is surely one of those spots that billionaires like to visit. And also the incredibly expensive yachts, olive groves, rugged coastal hikes, and cobblestones are worth mentioning too. For the wealthy, Saint-Tropez accommodates their need to be exclusive and classy as the town has exclusive beach clubs and exquisite restaurants. Some of the most rich and famous people in the world have taken trips there, such as Kanye West, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Rihanna. Now we head to America, where our next destination is the ski resort city, Aspen in Colorado. What draws most people to Aspen is the world-class skiing it offers. Aspen is known for the four incredible mountains that it allows people to explore. And unlike most other destinations on this list, Aspen has its own share of billionaires, with it being the home to at least 10 of them. Aspen's Red Mountain is actually nicknamed the Billionaire's Mountain for this reason. Amazon's founder Jeff Bezos, Walmart heiress Ann Walton Cronke, real estate magnate Neil Bloom, and CEO of Dell Technologies Michael Dell are some of the billionaires who own a house on this mountain. As of recently, hedge fund billionaire John Paulson bought a home there for $50 million, while Canadian billionaire Patrick Dovergy bought the most expensive home in Aspen for $72 million. It seems like this vacation town might turn into the next billionaire city. We head back to Europe now, and the next destination on our list is the Spanish island Ibiza. Just like Mykonos, Ibiza is also known for its party-centric atmosphere. While the island is referred to as the party capital of the world due to many people because of, well, <laughs> the insane parties. This isn't the only thing that draws billionaires to vacation on the island. The island is a world heritage site due to its incredible architecture, shoreline, and sea life. There are over 50 beaches on the island and six super beach clubs that attract billionaires because of its exclusivity. Also, a five-star treatment and experience is the expectation for the richest people in the world. And since 2007, every new hotel in Ibiza has been a five-star hotel matching their luxury expectations. The island is known for Saudi royals and Russian billionaires frequently visiting, and it's obvious why. A city that is known to bask in ostentatious luxury is Dubai, where gold ATMs and Lamborghini police cars are a standard. A perfect fit for billionaires to go, if I must say. 
The obvious hotel to stay in is the Burj Al Arab, the only seven-star hotel in the world, making it the perfect vacation home for billionaires. In fact, soaking up the luxuries of the Burj Al Arab can be an entire vacation itself, but for the rich. Dubai doesn't end there. Just 15 minutes from the hotel is the $12 billion incredible man-made Palm Jumeirah Island, which has an insane amount of water activities to do. And who can forget the Dubai Mall, the world's largest mall that has over 12,000 shops and also a ridiculous amount of attractions inside it. From an Olympic-sized skating rink to an underwater zoo to entering the world's largest virtual reality theme park to even an indoor ski resort. Yes, ski resort all inside the mall. And I must say, being able to go from racing jet skis on the beach or racing in Ferrari World in the Dubai desert to suddenly skiing in the cold is a luxury only Dubai could offer. And at the end of the day, dining at the Burj Khalifa, the world's largest tower with some of the finest restaurants in the world, is a perfect way for a billionaire to cap off a vacation day in Dubai. Our next destination is Portugal. While Portugal might be small in size, it is not in any way lacking in beauty. Portugal has emerged into the spotlight as one of Europe's coolest, vibrant, and energetic tourist destinations. Lisbon's steep hills, cobblestones, and the country's luxury hotels are some of the major reasons why Portugal has become a destination for billionaires. Also, who wouldn't want to visit a country where the sun sets in the sea and also has some of the most exquisite wines to offer? And with potentially the best weather in the whole of Europe, Portugal has become one of the most popular places billionaires visit for vacation. Lastly, this list would be incomplete without adding one of the cradles of civilization, Egypt. For the past two years, Egypt was the number one vacation destination for billionaires. Unlike other destinations mentioned earlier, Egypt is not just another luxury resort country. A vacation in Egypt gives billionaires a chance to experience an ancient culture and also enjoy adventuring throughout various historical landmarks. The two primary attractions that are bringing up all the billionaires to Egypt is the Steamship Sudan, a cruise that glides down the Nile between Luxor and Aswan, stopping at archaeological sites, temples, and tombs along the way. And also the newly inaugurated Grand Egyptian Museum, which is the largest archaeological museum in the world, housing over 100,000 ancient Egyptian artifacts, many of which have never previously been shown in public. So that is all we have for you today about where billionaires go on vacation. Which place was your favorite?